There are many different ways to position lighting instruments in Vectorworks. One of the most useful positioning related tools is the Align Distribute Items tool. The Align Distribute Items tool is found in the Lighting tool set. Lighting instruments can be automatically aligned and distributed along a specified guideline with the Align Distribute Items tool. Let's start by placing a few lights along this hanging position. Notice that the lights are not evenly spaced and not aligned properly. Once we've finished placing the lights, we can select the different lights and go to the Align and Distribute Items tool. At this point, it is looking for us to draw a line where the objects will align and distribute between. Click once where we want to start, and then once at the end point. The Align and Distribute dialog will appear. Just Align. The instruments are aligned, but their distribution is not changed. A long line on value centers. Aligns and distributes selected objects along the guideline using a specified spacing setting between the center point of the instruments. Evenly between points. The instruments are aligned and distributed evenly between the guideline points, starting with instruments at the beginning of the guideline. Evenly inside points. The instruments are aligned and distributed evenly between the guideline points, starting with the spacing at the beginning of the guideline. There are going to be different situations where we will need to rotate the lighting devices around the trusses. There are two ways to rotate the lights in 3D. Towards the bottom of the object info palette, there is an option for set 3D orientation. We then have three options, X, Y, and Z rotations. While direct values can be entered here, lighting devices can also be rotated directly with the rotate tool. However, the rotate tool works slightly differently with lighting devices. Start by getting into the view in which you want to rotate the light. Now, select the Rotate tool and click once to set the plane of the rotation. Unlike rotating other objects in Vectorworks, the specific distance from the object that you click doesn't matter. There are a few examples where this kind of rotating will be required. In this example, we have a hanging light. If we wanted to move it to the top of the truss, it wouldn't be correct without rotating it. In this example, I will use the values in the object info palette to change the X rotation to 180 so the light is sitting properly on the top of the truss. The same example can be used for uplighting. Another common example we see here is if the truss is on an angle. In this example, we have a hanging position on a 15 degree hanging angle. When we place the lighting device on this hanging position, they do not snap to the Z heights or angle of the truss. In order to position these lights properly, I'm going to first go into a front view. I'm going to select each light and move it to the bottom of the truss object. In this example, I'm going to show this using the rotate tool. The first click here is going to set the plane, so we do not want to snap to a plane on an angle. The easiest thing to do in this view is simply click away from the lighting device for the first click to get a direct front plane. Due to how the rotating works with lighting devices, we can easily select multiple devices at a time and rotate them all at once. As a reminder, once the lighting devices are attached to a position, they will automatically move with it, 